Welcome to the Arsenic Cooking Channel. First of all, I want to thank everyone for sharing my videos on their Facebook pages, leaving some likes and subscribing. And a special shout out goes to Zell for introducing me to this uh, Filipino dish, which I'm about to make for you today. It's called Picadillo. And first of all, we're going to soften the raisins. Trust me, it's very important to have softened raisins for this dish. They will taste much better. And for that, we'll have half a cup of raisins and we're going to pour boiling water over them and just keep them in this hot water until they're ready to use. And now let's go to the stove and begin sauteing our vegetables and everything else. Let's fire up the stove and put some olive oil. And we're going to saute onions and garlic first. Four cloves of garlic and one medium-sized onion. They go in. Just for a few minutes. Once onions become very transparent, you can see them forming like a golden brown color, we're going to put in ground beef. I usually get mine at Costco, just one package is going to be enough here. I usually try to break mine into smaller pieces, so that way uh, everything will cook thoroughly through and evenly, and you don't have to like break up the chunks here in the pan. <music> Also, when you put anything cold um, in, in a pan, what I do, I use, usually increase the flame uh, to high. And now we're going to cook everything until the meat is gray, uh, kind of light brown color. I like to break apart all the meat pieces, all the chunks that are formed and to make sure that everything is as ground beef as it could be. Once you see that all the chunks of meat here are gray, we're going to add diced tomatoes, one can, approximately 14.5 ounces, and I get mine at Costco. Just put the whole thing in. Uh, beef broth goes in as well, one cup. And of course, our raisins. Make sure you soften them up uh, by keeping them in hot water until they're ready to use. And now we're going to mix everything together. <music> I usually get mine to the boiling point when I start seeing like it bubbling up here. And then what we will do is cover it for 15 minutes and cook it under lid. So let's wait for a few minutes. I actually increased the flame on the stove to make sure that we get it to this boiling temperature. You see it starts bubbling, cover it, reduce the heat to medium and Cook it for 15 minutes. 15 minutes have passed. Now let's take the lid off. Oh, it smells great. My mouth is already watering by the way it just looks and smells. And we're going to mix it one more time. I probably could eat it just like that now. But no, let's add a few more ingredients. Increase since I since I took off the lid, I'm going to increase the temperature just to keep everything here cooking nice and hot. And now we're going to add olives, about three quarters of a cup. We're going to add one 
large carrot and two medium-sized potatoes, and they have to be cubed. Look at that, all goes in. And now let's mix, oh, no, one more ingredient that I forgot, green peas, three quarters of a cup. You can get just frozen ones, as you can see, they're ice solid, but they'll surely melt down in no time. And now let's mix everything here. And once everything is mixed together, what I would do is wait for the bubbles to start forming so it reaches the boiling point. And once that happens, cover the lid for additional 15, 10 to 15 minutes until carrots and potatoes are soft. Fifteen minutes have passed, and now we're going to add salt and pepper to your taste. To my taste, I should say. And uh, first of all, make sure you check potatoes. As long as they are soft, it means everything is ready, and we just need to add pepper and salt. <laughs> Now let's mix it for one last time uh, and cook it for a few more minutes and then it will be ready to go. Ready to be put on a plate, served and enjoyed. Make, sh make sure you mix thoroughly so that salt and pepper get distributed equally. If the potatoes are still hard or not something that you consider edible, uh, feel free to cook it more for 20-25 minutes, but 15 to 20 minutes should be enough. It's ready. Now let's put it on a plate. Let's serve it. I'm so eager. Let's make sure we grab some ground beef, some potatoes, some olives. I want to have everything. All right. More, I want more. Where is my potatoes? Oh, steaming hot, delicious, colorful. Thank you for watching, and now you too can enjoy a Filipino dish called picadillo. It has everything in it. Beef, it has potatoes, everything you want, colorful and just purely delicious. And thank you again for watching and until next time on the Arsenic Cooking Channel. Thank you.